it's possible that we could have very, very serious changes in global climate, in precipitation patterns, in wind patterns, and effects on agriculture, and effects on societies. Uh, it's hard for me to imagine a more serious uh, environmental issue. We, we ought to face the fact that we can't use all that coal. When we make decisions about developing synthetic fuels, uh, when we make projections about uh, long-term uh, energy needs, uh, and which technologies to use, the CO2 issue is simply not seriously considered, and it's high time that it should be. Do we have a right to around with global systems uh, in that way? I mean, is, is the world ours to, to play with, to experiment with? Uh, I think not. I mean, I think we owe future generations uh, other life on the planet uh, a, a profound uh, duty of restraint. And right now, we don't seem to be exercising it. I, I don't simply mean that it's uh, the worst environmental problem uh, that we've ever had. Um, it is certainly one of the most serious environmental problems that we could ever have, I think. Uh, but uh, it's also a dilemma in the sense of how to respond, the, the scope of the response, the number of people that have to be involved in a response if it's going to be effective, the pressures pushing against a response. Uh, the, and uh, uh, in, in that sense, it poses us with uh, both a dilemma in terms of the seriousness of the problem and the possibilities of solution. I think it's going to be terribly difficult.